What is going on world? It is absolutely a beautiful day in London, Ontario. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to enjoy this amazing sunrise this morning because we have a very busy schedule with the social lab. So today, I thought I'd just take you guys along the journey with me. So let's go see what's the first thing on our to-do list for today. Oh, hey Matt. Hey Kellen. Hey, hey. Where are we at right now? CBC London. Woo. Holy crap, yeah. Because of the London Free Press article, CBC London Radio reached out to us. And we're about to do a live interview right now. I can't believe this is gonna be crazy. Let's go check it out. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> oh yeah, got documented everything. Fair enough. We've got 30 seconds. We're gonna do weather and traffic, and then uh, we'll go to you guys. Peach Pyramid, the Victoria BC artist, has just released her day. So we just wrapped up our little interview with CBC there. What do you guys think? Woo! It was that awesome. Really that was amazing. Oh yeah, and I can't believe it. They were it. so helpful too with us and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They yeah. really like led us through it. They gave us a lot of information on what's happening and how it's gonna go. So. Yeah, Rebecca was great too, like making eye contact so you know when you're supposed to talk. Yeah. You can feel like more of a conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys definitely hit on all the good topics that we wanted to hit on. Oldies Village, you know, finding applicants, what's going on with the social lab, what are we all about? So yeah. It, I, I couldn't have hoped for it to go any better. Yeah, that was great. It so, went really well. we'll clip that little part of us on the yeah. CBC radio right now. Well, the next time you share something on social media, let's say a cool video, consider how much time it took to make it. For some Londoners, creating great content for YouTube or Facebook is actually a full-time job. The trouble is, it rarely pays the bills. My next guest both have popular YouTube channels. They also have an idea to help make other locals social media stars and help them make money. They call it Social Lab. Matt McKeever and Peter Kloxo. Am I saying that right? Kloxo, yeah, pretty Klopso. close. Okay, join me now in studio. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Matt, let's start with you. What, what is Social Lab? What, what is that all about? Uh, so the two word pitch would be a YouTube house, but more specifically, it's really a social media incubator. So the idea is, we're taking a multi-family property. And so I'm trying to picture what the house, the inside of the house would actually look like. Would it have specific screens or, or do you do anything differently in a house than a, in a regular house? Well, as of right now, the, the house that we're taking over is a sixplex. So each of the candidates that be moving into this place are gonna have their own separate apartments, their own separate kitchen and bathroom. But we're gonna have a flex space, a, a place where we can all meet up and one of the units is gonna be changed into like a pop-up shop. Are you basing Social Lab on anything else you've seen in another city? Are there, are there such houses that exist already? So right now, there's nothing like this in the world. Um, when I first started up my YouTube channel and I started watching YouTube, I saw that like someone is gonna push this far. Someone's gonna take this to the ultimate extent where it's kind of like like the Jackass movies, where they're just trying to push in, get as much attention and exposure as possible. So I saw that there was gonna be avenues like this, but there's also a way to to take that mold and create good out of it and create a community that really helps and benefits each other. So right now there's nothing like this. We haven't seen anything like this, and this is kind of the whole thing that we're showing as we're documenting this journey is that we're testing things out, we're trying to engage with the oldies village, we're trying to engage with London, here's the process that we're taking and what's gonna happen with it, we don't really know. Like, that kind of led to this interview right now, it's, you know, as things have been stumbling along. So. Are you sinking a lot of money into this? Uh, so, like, there's definitely a lot of lost Not opportunity cost. <laughs> uh, 
but it's it's a passion of love, like it's a labor of love. So we're more than happy to make those sacrifices to try and pay it forward to other content creators, and we just really want to see what's possible. Woo! That was absolutely wild and so much fun to do. Thank you so much, CBC Radio London, for having myself, Matt, and Kellen down to talk about the social lab. That was so much fun. I could honestly. I could really get used to talking on a microphone like that. I really want to get into like podcasting and stuff. So that was so much fun being on air, being live on the radio. That was so cool. And uh, right now I'm actually at home just doing a little bit of research on some of the applicants that we're going to be auditioning today. We actually have four auditions. People are coming down to meet us at the Army Tank at Victoria Park between 6 and 8 o'clock tonight. And then we also have two auditions, one at 12 and 12.30 at Williams downtown. So, oh, someone's messaging me right now. So I actually got to get back to work here. I'm going to skip all that boring stuff for you guys and let's just hop downtown and talk to one of these applicants. All right, so I'm downtown here at Williams. Matt, we're doing a little audition and I'm here with Mikey. So what do you think of the social lab, Mikey? So far I think it's pretty promising. It's a good way to engage like youth like myself to be able to like make quality content and actually have the opportunity to do, the opportunity to do that and be able to dedicate our time and effort into something that to us matters. So yeah. That's awesome. We've been meeting with so many great people and Mikey has a really rich history. He's been to Indonesia, he's been an actor, so we're really excited with all the people who are coming down. He's got a YouTube channel going right now. You want to plug that for us? Yeah, you can subscribe to my channel at MikeyB, that's me, and you can follow me on Instagram at MikeyPierceB. Awesome. Well, go check him out, go subscribe, and we're going to catch up with the uh, next applicant here, so I'll see you guys. Whew. Oh, I'm on the other side of the table now. So, I am now here with Mallory. Thank Yo. you so much for coming down. So, what do you think of the social lab? I think the social lab is something that like London needs. I think there's so many creators in London and to have a place like a hub where they can all meet and like collaborate on, de on ideas is uh, something that I think is really important and I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited, yeah. <laughs> awesome, well thank you so much for coming to the auditions today. Now you are on Instagram and YouTube. Did you want to link up uh, the Instagram there? Yeah, so if you guys want to go follow me, my Instagram is Mallory Ann Brown. That's M-A-L-L-O-R-Y-A-N-N -N Brown because there's different ways that people smell Mallory. That's the only way it should be spelled. So, <laughs> yeah. Awesome, well go check her out there. Go give her a follow and I am off to the gym. Alright, so it is currently 310. I still have not ate. I am still fasting. Great workout there. Everything's feeling on point. And uh, I am now at the social lab and I think some uh, some stuff's going on. So let's go see what's up. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how much you? Let's go, buddy. You got hey, VR luggage? stuff. VR. Oh, yes, yo, you guys gotta check this out. So this unit just got evacuated, right? Pretty much uh, evacuated, I guess is the right word. No one's living in here and they've done amazing work so far, but you can see the kind of what this place looked like before like that just sucks That sucks but Yeah, things are coming along amazingly in this place VR at the social lab. We haven't even started yet <laughs> No way Yo, what do you see? You just try. I don't want to do the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, some kid game kid played there. Some yes. kid played this, right? And uh, look at the smile. I'm so excited. Uh, look up, look up, and press resume. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. you. Now, okay, let go. Now grab the head and rip it out slowly, but look at the neck. 
Rip off his head slowly. No, but you gotta you gotta grab his uh, torso. Oh, like you gotta grab his torso first. Oh, torso. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. There and then grab his head. Oh no! Oh. Hold, hold the torso. Don't just like. Don't let go. Don't like. There you go. And then grab the head, but slowly and look at the neck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like viral. Oh shit! <laughs> That's so creepy. This, so this was at the social lab. Reach to YouTube social lab. Hi, my name is Kathy. I read your article in the Leonard Free Press, and I thought I might be interested to be a candidate for your project. If you'd like to consider me, my number is. Awesome, we'll definitely be reaching out yes. to you, but we'll blur out your number. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy. We'll definitely reach out to you. All right, we got Stefan Simonovich. He's a local artist here in London, Ontario. We got him doing a nice, cool design here at the Social Lab. If you guys are interested, make sure you go check out his Instagram. He's got some amazing works, and he actually sells stuff here in London. Hi Kathy, it's Peter calling from the uh, Social Lab. I got your note, thank you so much for coming by. I'd love to meet up with you. Tonight we're actually doing a, a little meet up at Victoria Park, we're doing some auditions out there. And we're gonna be at the Army Tank between six and eight o'clock, so if you wanna come down then, we'd be glad to uh, talk to you and get you to audition for the Social Lab. So I hope you come down, I hope you get this message. If not, I'll definitely reach out on email and I'll, we'll definitely uh, we'll do some talking. So. You have a great day, hopefully we'll see you tonight. If, if you were to start up a YouTube channel, kind of what do you want to do with that platform? Mm -hmm. Would you say that something you're trying to do with this is create unity between communities? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Part of the word, communities? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at too with life. <laughs> <laughs> it's brutal, oh yeah. Yeah. This is awesome, okay. Yeah, that got me thinking because like usually we'd have our questions prepared, but like now you got our, my mind. Yeah, you got us whole thinking. Trail. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I Which is the way it was good. <laughs> If you showed me the video of that laughing, I'd laugh. Yeah. I laugh. Yeah. Look at this. Woo. It's got a movie well, screen now. He's stepping it up here in London. Alright, well that's gonna be it for me tonight, world. I am currently walking home. Had a great evening. Thank you so much, Brandon, for coming out tonight. You filled us in with a lot of great ideas on how to build up the social lab. So today was an amazing day. I can't believe this. CBC interview. We met with two amazing candidates for the social lab YouTube house today. And then we celebrated all the amazing things that have been going on while discussing more of this amazing aspect. I honestly feel like this is not work. I'm just living. I'm just being me. I'm just... I don't even know what to talk about anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here today, you know what to do. Go hit that like button and of course, leave me a comment. I am the Hungarian Experiment.